Hey everybody, it's Tech Freak back here with another video. I'm very excited, guys, to show you my top 20 CD tweaks for iOS 8. Now, put in mind that these are all free, and these are all tweaks that you may have not heard about. So, yeah, I've gathered some tweaks that are not so uh, famous and not so common for you guys. So, I hope you like this video, and uh, let's get started. Now the first tweak here is called Rubik. Rubik is a battery saving tweak that prevents your device from using LTE or 3G while you are connected to Wi-Fi. It also allows the device to switch to 2G if your carrier supports 2G and the lock screen if you are not using data so it won't uh, take a lot of data from your package and that will save battery. It turns out to save a lot of battery. The next tweak here is called Cache Clearer. Now, what Cache Clearer does, it allows you to clear app cache from the settings. It helps free up some system memory and also fixes some bugs inside the app. So, if I go here to Facebook, you can see I have three choices delete app, reset app, and clear apps cache. So, by clicking on clear apps cache that will clear the apps cache as the name suggests and this will result in a very very smooth experience especially with an app like Facebook which carries a lot of bugs no life clock save some CPU drainage from happening by disabling the life clock app that was introduced in iOS 7 and this will also not prevented from updating so don't worry about that if you closed from an application it will update by itself just right here it will save a little bit of cpu and also some battery life check is a city tweak that allows you to select multiple emails by simple gesture here just tap here and just go to the file you want tap it's going to start to glimpse right here and then you can select multiple emails to share move or even select as read vine plus plus allows you to save vines directly to your camera roll and it also disables the autoplay in the vine app curtains for you is a cool cd tweak that gives a little bit of a change when swiping back the swipe back animation which was introduced in iOS 7 gives it a little curtains like animation. Showcase is a CD tweak that allows your keyboard to show if you are using an upper or a lower case letters. I don't know why this is not built in on iOS 8 yet, but I think it's really convenient as the caps button right here i don't really know if it's on or off sometimes i get you know buzzled so this is a really helpful tweak for people like me type status gives a little bit of a glimpse if someone is typing you or sending you a message on imessage i actually can't show you that right now sorry for that but it will appear sorry it will appear in the status bar right here as and it will tell you who's the person who's typing this message for you really convenient no bar screen will allow you to take a screenshot without showing the status bar and this will result in a very nicer look and cleaner screen painter is another screenshot tweak that allows you to draw once you take your screenshot maybe if you want to show your friends something you could draw like this and then share it with them right away. Icon Renamer is a cool CD tweak that allows you to rename any icon as you want. So let's say I want to rename Cydia. I'm going to put it into Wiggle Mod and then double tap here. And now I can rename it right away. So I'm just going to rename it to Installer, which is the first name for Cydia actually. And there you go, you have a very cool new name for any application you want. Blurry Badges gives a very nice cool look to your badges. And it will make it look and have the color of the same application that it carries. So here as you can see on the Cydia app, I have a brown badge. On the Mail app, I have a bluish badge on the App Store. 
and also on stuff like Facebook and WhatsApp, it will change up and will result in a very cool and nice look. 20 second lock screen allows you to change the time that it takes for the lock screen to be awake. So if you're someone like me who likes to check his notification and he doesn't like to get interrupted with the default time that the screen fades in like this, you can simply change this from the settings by installing 20 second lock screen. If you go right here to 20 second lock screen, you could change the dim time when it's docked and when it's not docked. This would result in a very helpful new way to change how the time of the lock screen fading out. Quick Siri, set an activation gesture to launch a specific question of Siri. So mine is set to a double tap and I've set it to say, what's the name of the song? So if I double tap right here, it will invoke Siri and it will ask it the question, what's the name of the song? So this is like a built-in Shazam, but it's way faster. Cellular usage order is a very nice tweak that orders your cellular apps, the apps that you use in cellular data, in the way they and how much they take from the data. So it's much more helpful than the default one. It arranges your apps from the one that takes the most to the one that takes the least, like Wi-Fi passwords like here. Very cool. HUD speed, change the amount of time it takes for the volume HUD to disappear. This will result in a very helpful way in not getting distracted while watching something. Grit switcher, give your multitasking switcher a new refined look. This actually reminds me of the HTC One M8, but you could change the grid of the look. You can make it 4x4 or 2x2 or 3x3. There's a lot of settings that you can change. Front flash is a very cool city tweak that I found really helpful. I use it so much. It gives the screen a little white burst, so it results in as a flash for your front-facing camera. So if you turn on the flash right here after installing front flash, as you can see, the screen will, uh, ha will take a snapshot-like look and this will result in a flash-like experience. Savegram is a must-have CD tweak that allows you to save Instagram photos just by simply clicking save and this will save it to your camera roll. Search settings is a little CD tweak that allows you to search your settings right here. So if you want to search for something like accessibility, you can find it right away by searching and then you can enter it and you can search in that section again. So it's really helpful if you don't know where is a settings section is in your settings app. And now for the final app, that's actually 21, so I give you one bonus one, and I absolutely must mention this in my top 20 free CD tweaks. This is absolutely a great way to experience true split-screen multitasking. Just by invoking reachability right here, you can get this a cool experience. So let's say I want to launch the calendar right here. I can have a very cool split screen multitasking view. And this is really, really cool. <laughs> you know, I just, words can say, reach app free. You can get the source for it down below in the description and other sources from some tweaks that are not there just by searching. So everything is going to be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. I just, I don't know, I, I think it screwed up a little bit. I wasn't, you know, I was a little bit nervous. This is my first tweaks video, so I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you up in the next one. Peace.